Well, hello and welcome to Faith, Philosophy and Life with me, Mr. Shelton. It's great that you're joining me again as we continue with our uh, discussion and our thoughts on the world religion of Buddhism. Today, we're going to think about eight more important rules or eight more important thinking that Buddhists have called the Noble Eightfold Path. Now, behind me, though, um, are a number of different inf bits of information. I'd like you to look at those and I'd like you to try and identify which do you think is most important? Which do you think is most important? So have a look over those, see if you can just rank them if you want to. Um, don't worry about writing them all down, this is just a thinking exercise. So pause me now while you get that done. Okay, so this is your time to go and grab a piece of paper and a pen because here's your cheesy intro music. Brilliant, so welcome back. So our title today is The Noble Eightfold Path, fairly short today, shouldn't take you long to get written down, and our learning objective is to explore The Noble Eightfold Path, really what it says on the tin today. So make sure you've got down what you need to, pause this clip wherever you need to to save me keep saying it. So uh, it's going to be a good outcome if you can retail three parts of The Noble Eightfold Path. Uh, it's great if you can, what talks about what makes a good citizen in life, and even better if you can link the uh, Eightfold Path to being a good citizen and saying if these rules are helpful or not. So last week when we looked at the five precepts, we actually started to reach a conclusion that a lot of those were still applicable today, even though they were 2,500 years old. So our literacy objective today is to ask questions. We're going to be reading, we're going to be asking questions, and then there'll be uh, a little bit of citizenship, which is what when we think what makes a good citizen. So to start off with, let's go with that question. I'd like you to do a little mind map for me. What makes a good citizen? And I'd like you to write down some things that you think would be important. So I'll give you one for free. Uh, someone who keeps the law. Okay, a citizen is someone that lives as part of Britain uh, or whatever country it is that you're watching this in. Um, so a citizen is, is someone who lives in their country, but what makes them a good person? I think about some of the rules, the guidelines that we've been given under this COVID-19 pandemic. So what makes a good citizen? Pause me now, give that a go. Try and come up with that six or seven if you can. Perfect, hopefully you've done that then. Why not send a, a list of those to one of your friends and ask them if they've got anything they could add or ask your parents or whoever it is that you live with and see if they've got an opinion on what makes a good citizen as well. And maybe put that around your mind map. Let's get a little bit of participation with other people because that's one thing that I'm really lacking uh, when we're not in a classroom because in a classroom you can bounce loads of ideas off other people. So just see what you can do with that. But I'm gonna move on now. Uh, it'd be really good if you did do that. So I've got six questions for you here uh, for you to write an answer to in your book. So you can either write the question out or write in full sentences. Uh, I would prefer you to write in full sentences personally, but it is your book and your work. So first question is, how do you know how to live? How do you know how to live? So who gives you the instructions of how you know what to do? The second question is slightly different. Who teaches you what is right and wrong? The third question is a little bit of reflection, maybe a little careers link there for you. A little bit harder to do at this point, I suppose, um, because of what's going on. Uh, however, let's give it a go. Uh, what do you want to be doing one year from now, five years from now and at the end of your life? I'm not talking, obviously, right at the end of your life. Uh, I'm talking maybe a year or two before that if you still got your full health. How might a religion teach what is right and wrong? What were the Four Noble Truths? And do Buddhists learn how to live if they follow these rules? Okay, so do Buddhists, do Buddhists learn how to live if they follow these rules? That's an opinion-based question. So give that a go. The six questions should take you about 12 minutes or so. Some of them are dead quick, some of them are a little bit longer. Uh, so pause me now and then come back to me when you're done.
Okay, so our learning objective today was to explore the Noble Eightfold Path. And you say, oh, Mr. Shelton, we've not done that yet. Well, no, we haven't. But what we have done is we've thought about citizenship. So here are the Noble Eightfold Path. Okay, so here are eight of them, hence why it's an Eightfold Path. And they start with the word right. Okay, right just means correct thinking rather than something that's correct like right and wrong. So um, what I'd like you to do is we're going to have a quick think about what they are. Now they break into three categories. So you've got right vision, right emotion, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right awareness, and right meditation or right thought as that is sometimes interpreted. If you access the Google Drive below, you will see a link and that link takes you to a card sort that looks something like this. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try and identify which matches with which. So which on the left matches with those on the right. So a fairly straightforward exercise. So you look at right understanding and you think, hmm, which one's right understanding? Well, it might be to see the world as it really is, to understand the teachings of the Buddha. So I'd write that down. And then I'd move on to right thought. Okay, so some of these might be a little bit tricky, so miss out the ones you don't know because hopefully there'll be less of those than the ones that you do know and then you'll be able to work it out by processes of elimination. So either write those in your books, print that off if you want, just have it on your screen. I don't mind how you do it. Um, and see if you can try and match those up because if you know what the Noble Eightfold Path are, then you'll have an understanding about why Buddhists do the things that they do. And that's really what we're thinking about today. These are things that underpin, like the five precepts uh, were sort of guidelines. These are guidelines to why Buddhists do what they do. So pause this clip now, access that link and see what you can find. Okay, so if you haven't yet done that, um, now please pause me because I'm going to go through the answers with you. Okay, so behind me then are the answers. Um, so what I'd like you to do is now double check that you've got those correct, tick them off if you need, make any adjustments that you need to. So pause me now. Okay, so hopefully now you've got those in the correct order. So our learning objective was to explore the Noble Eightfold Path. We said it'd be good if we could uh, retell three of those Eightfold Path. Great if you can explain what makes uh, helps a good citizen in life. And even better if you can link the Eightfold Path to being a good citizen. So this is uh, sort of where we're going for the rest of this lesson. So it is at this point I will bid you farewell and you'll then be able to get on and do this task for however long you've got left of your lesson. So you're going to create an information poster about the Noble Eightfold Path. Okay, it's behind me there so you can see it really clearly. For each of them, you're going to put an example for each of these in today's world and say how it could help you lead a good life or makes you a good citizen. So write speech, for example, saying nothing that hurts others. How does that help you as a citizen? Well, it builds up society. You know, and as we thought about a few weeks back with Black Lives Matter, um, it's to do with some, saying things that don't hurt and don't, don't offend other people. So that's your task. I'd like you to go through that. Please photograph that, send that through to me or through to your teachers because we would love to see your work on the Noble Eightfold Path with that. Uh, make it look pretty, put some pictures with it if you want to. Do it on the computer if you'd rather uh, and then sort of electronically send it through or print it off, put it in your book or just do it on paper and draw it. It's entirely up to you. So that's your task. It's do an information poster about the Noble Eightfold Path. You may need to Google a little bit more but think about examples of how they would help in the world around us. So thanks for your time, take care of yourselves, God bless, stay safe, wash hands, and I'll see you very soon.